Well, Fox 45's Mackenzie Frost continues our team coverage tonight with a closer look at how this tragedy happened in the first place and what could have been done to stop it. Well, Mary, there are still so many unanswered questions as this investigation continues to unfold, but we spoke with several engineers and marine experts about what may have gone wrong this morning. As the Singapore registered cargo ship named the Dolly made its way out of the port of Baltimore around one o'clock Tuesday morning, video showing the lights on the ship carrying some 10,000 containers starting to flicker, smoke billowing from the ship. And at 1.28 a.m., the ship hit a pillar of the Francis Scott Key Bridge and the emergency calls immediate. Take the dispatch. The whole bridge just fell down. Start. Whoever, everybody, the whole bridge just collapsed. Reports indicate the crew on board issued a mayday call, saying the ship lost power and propulsion. That mayday call halting traffic on the bridge. The immediacy clear from emergency crews on the ground. Do we know all traffic was stopped? I can't get to the other side, sir. The bridge is down. The shocking video shows the catastrophic collapse of the bridge. The bridge was a, a three span continuous um, uh, truss bridge. Associate teaching professor at Johns Hopkins, Rachel Sangri, explains the truss bridge had three continuous spans, but that means the piers in the water serving as pillars were structurally critical. When one of those piers was removed, um, all three of those fans uh, came down. Walid Abu Qadir, adjunct professor at the Milwaukee School of Engineering, went to grad school in Delaware and says he's very familiar with the key bridge. It takes one ship to, you know, to break this bridge like this. And that's what happened here. Abu Qadir says fenders or barriers could have been installed around the base of the pillars in the water to prevent a ship from making contact like this situation. It would have made a difference, but how common does a, does a ship hits you know, these critical places. With questions surrounding just how this could have happened, this video remains evidence of what experts like Captain John Martino says will be critical in finding those answers. Chances of there being a navigation error remote. Leading to more questions about what went so tragically wrong ending in a scene like this, one many will likely never forget. Now, online databases show 27 inspections have been done on this ship since 2015. In 2016, after a crash at a Belgian port, the ship suffered hull damage impacting its seaworthiness. And in June 2023, another inspection found deficiencies with some propulsion and auxiliary machinery. Mary? McKenzie.